This is Science Friday. In today's program, while the long-lasting climate change debate continues under the current administration, it hasn't acknowledged climate change as a reality. The Washington Post published an article about a new study from the National Academy of Sciences warning that frozen northern soils, often called the Arctic permafrost that stretch across Siberia, Alaska, and northern Canada, are unleashing an increasing amount of greenhouse gases into the air as they begin to thaw. Frozen permafrost contains enough carbon to double the current concentration of CO2 in the Earth's atmosphere. In just two years, Alaska seeped as much carbon dioxide into the air as all U.S. businesses release in a single year. Researchers in Siberia found mysterious bubbles that contained up to 1,000 times more methane than the surrounding air. 
Huge craters formed by thawing permafrost have been appearing in Siberia's Yamal Peninsula. Climate science has been around since the 1950s, but nothing like this had been documented before. The fears about permafrost carbon seeping into the atmosphere are based on simple chemistry. The temperature rises in the Arctic, the organic matter in the interacting with the soil. drives further warming, a self-reinforcing cycle. Once this cycle gets going, it's hard to stop. But a bigger methane shock might be in store from ocean waters just to the north where methane is spewing up from the bottom of the seas. Even less studied is what happens to the 67 billion tons of nitrogen could be released as nitrous oxide, a greenhouse gas that is much faster than previously thought. Some scientists call it the most important tipping point. Discussions of climate change often center on the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, mostly from human activities. Burning fossil fuels, livestock farming, landfills, and deforestation. But how we deal with greenhouse gases that are slowly and steadily unlocking themselves from thawing permafrost is yet to be seen.